aperture. I'm going to give you a brief overview of this new book, The Suffering of Light, that encompasses some 30 years of my color work. It's an exploration of an obsession, an obsession that's started in 78, 79, a way of seeing in color in certain kinds of places. The book is organized chronologically, so it really reflects the somewhat chaotic and often mysterious process of creation. Projects pop up at certain times in the middle of other projects. The book starts on the border, an arrest in San Isidro, California. Borders have always been really important to me. This is also from the border, from Boquillas, Mexico. I've been continuously drawn to borders and edges of societies, places where cultures come together, sometimes easily, sometimes roughly. And this, for me, sort of sums up something about the border. I mean, the border sort of attracts all kinds of stuff to it from both cultures. So this has got Christ, Santa Claus, the Backstreet Boys, and a prostitute's legs. I mean, I think many Mexicans and North Americans view the border with some sense of distaste. But I find the border fascinating in the way these two utterly different cultures come together and mix and produce something else, another culture. Discovering Istanbul and getting excited about working in Istanbul enabled me to let the U.S.-Mexico border project go. Because, you know, Istanbul's another kind of border. It's, you know, it's ancient and modern, eastern and western, Islamic and secular, very different than the U.S.-Mexico border, but still has that strange, slightly unsettled quality of, at times, you don't quite know where you are. I kind of photograph to be able to understand what it is and why it is that I'm photographing. As the 80s rolled on, I began to work more and more in Mexico. Something about the, the lyricism of the world of children in Mexico, something about the specific nature of the mystery of Mexico fascinated me. Some pictures began to deal with modern Mexico like this one. Others like this one from Tehuantepec, more traditional Mexico. 87 rolled around. I returned to Haiti again and again to photograph the, the violence of the 87 elections. Haiti, in the summer and fall of 87, descended into a kind of cycle of violence uh, where provocateurs set up burning barricades to destroy elections. There were memorial services for people killed by the army or by the paramilitary. There were dead bodies in the streets in the early morning. I mean, this for me captures something or another about the, the true strangeness of Haiti, this combination of horror and beauty. Something I, on some level, never have entirely been able to understand.